Hi, welcome to the 3D pen den. Actually, making a circle with 3D pen is not that hard. Especially if you have a circle under your transparent surface to trace. But there are moments when it's helpful to be able to make circles that are truly completely round and all the same. So let's look at five methods of how to make real circles and some tips on where you may need them. Method number one is rather obvious. You find a round shape of the right size for your project and trace it. Just make sure the material you're tracing is heat resistant enough. So why would you need a perfect circle? This comes up, for example, if you are making a sphere by the folding technique and need the curve to be the same on all sides of your ball. Here is a quick one minute look at the simple version of the folding technique. If you want to see it in detail, watch my video on how to make spheres part 3. Another of those moments where you may need a bit of help is when you need to make a circle on a curved surface, like a sphere or a cylinder. I'm about to make a cylinder on this bottle and it would be helpful if the bottom of it is straight enough for the final cylinder to stand up straight. Same thing on a sphere. If you are making a ball from two halves, you want them both the same size. Or if you are trying to subdivide the ball in several sections to plan your design.
for some techniques, you will want series of concentric circles of specific sizes. That might be a bit hard to just find around the house. It would be helpful to have a template for that. So here is a tool where it's done for you. This is a 3D made mat and I separated mine into the individual segments. So I can use just the segment I need at the moment. This is a technique I called contour lifting, where you gradually build your project by joining your circles or any other shapes vertically in space one by one. very versatile and makes a lot of things faster like cones, cylinders, spheres and more. So what do you do if you need concentric circles and don't have a template? You can rig up your pen to be a makeshift compass with two rubber bands and a large upholstery needle. I will be working on a sprayed plexiglass with a hole in the middle but you can do this straight on paper too. Or put a sheet of styrofoam under the paper to be able to stick the needle into the surface better. The trick is to spin the surface, not the pen. This only makes one size circle, but then you can insert something between the pen and the needle like your spacers for instance, to make slightly bigger circles. The link for making the spacers is above and in the description below. This works for small concentric circles if you happen not to have the mat. What if you need a bigger circle? And by that I mean anything over 5 inches in diameter. Remember the small carousel we made for making the small shapes? Yes, the link is also above and in the description. So we need to make one just a bit bigger and with a circle ruler to help us with the big circles. The bigger a circle the more trouble they are to just trace quick recap of how to make this. Drill a hole into the bottom circle and insert a stiff wire into it. Make sure the hole for the wire is perpendicular to the surface otherwise the carousel won't spin well. Spray a big plexiglass circle with a clear matte acrylic coating. Or you can even use a square if you can't find a big circle. I had mine cut to 18 inches diameter at the local glass store. You can glue your wire in if you like. And when it's all dry, slide in a washer or two and slide on the plexiglass circle. On top we'll add another washer or two and a ruler drilled in quarter of an inch or one centimeter intervals with a little eyelet at the end to keep the pen steady. I will post more detailed instructions for this gizmo next week, but you get the idea. And now we can make a really big ball, but that will have to be another video. So stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it.